Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to see data modeling in Power BI software. So we all know that data modeling is the heart of Power BI reports. So if your data modeling is correct, your report will be correct and it will show you the correct and you can say a correct insights to your customer. And on basis of that, only business decisions are taken. So in real time, what happens, you will be dealing with multiple tables. And in this particular data modeling video, we are going to see a model with five tables and we are going to build a data model in this entire video so it's a real-time data model uh, and we are going to see a real-time data so the data which we are going to use it's an indian election result analysis data so it's 2024 uh, lok sabha election which happened in india so the data is of that particular so it's a real-time data and based on this data only in next video we are going to build a power bi dashboard as so so this is just an video where we will see how we do data modeling in real time as well so the same approach we follow in our uh, you know real industries also uh, just there that the data might be in greater number of uh, rows and columns and it might be uh, with more number of tables as well all right so the same approach we are going to follow in this with this particular data all right so uh, as i told you the data modeling uh, in power bi or in any other software let it be tableau or sql or any an analytics software 70 to 80 percent of work is done on data modeling as well as for data cleaning 30 percent of work is only done for building the reports so because if your data model is correct obviously we'll get the correct results all right so now let's move ahead and see let's see how we are going to do uh, as i told you we have a data of election analysis data so i will just give you a quick walkthrough of the data what what we already actually have so first table which we have is a constituency details table okay so in this particular uh, that particular candidate details are mentioned uh, the party from which he has been you know uh, uh, trying to get votes and all the other vote uh, you know metrics have been shown over here so all that information is stored over here so each and every candidate who are you know who have filled the nomination form and who has been standing in that particular constituency uh, the data of each and every candidate is present over here all right so this is uh, constituency details and then we have results okay so this is what were actually results came up and for that particular constituency who won what are the total loads and based on that uh, we we have this particular data right then we have party wise results also so this is uh, let's say party wise results is there for each party like we have so many parties in india right so they they all the candidates uh, you know got elected uh, with respect to different parties like aam Admi party bjp is there uh, indian national congress is there ncp is there rjd is there so so many are there right so based on that this is the you know data which represent that particular thing so before moving ahead into our video let us discuss why business analytics is important nowadays so we all know that in today's digital world everywhere the data is generated and each and every industry the data is generated and all these industries require business analyst to make informed decisions that drive the growth and efficiency of that particular industry so to help you become a business analyst, Odin School have launched a business analytics course for manager, which will be a live online class led by IIM faculties. And at the end, you will be receiving a certification from IIM Trichy. This is a eight weeks of technical training plus eight weeks of professional development program where there will be a hands-on learning with real world projects. This course is only open for professional who have at least two years of experience. In this entire curriculum course, you will be learning different tools and softwares like Excel, Advanced Excel, Python for data analysis. You will be doing predictive analysis as well. Power BI, Power Query, Power Pivots. You will be learning concepts of statistics as well. You will be you will be looking how to design and develop the dashboards and reports using Power BI. You will be given an introduction to machine learning as well. Storytelling with the data, you will be you will be given different project presentations as well. So by taking this program, you will be able to master your analytics skills. You will be able to give different solutions to the organizations, which will help them to grow their businesses. And you will be engaged in real-world hands-on projects, which will help you understand the different concepts of data 
analytics as well as business analytics in this entire course they will not only teach you the theoretical concepts but they will engage you in hands on project based learning with 25 plus projects which will help you to build a strong portfolio in this live course from odin school there will be an interactive live classes which will provide you real time feedback and also the support from the instructors you will also get career support where you will receive dedicated job assistance including resume building interview preparation and job referrals via odin school's dedicated job application portal odin school have strong industry network with over 500 hiring partners which will help you enhance your chances of securing a job with leading companies in the industries after completion of this course from odin school you will get an advanced certificate from prestigious iim trichy and also get an alumni status which will add value to your resume or your cv the upcoming cohort or the upcoming batch of this particular course will be from 30th november 2024 and the fee structure of this live online learning plus certification course will be rupees 50000 plus gst and you will have an emi options also which will be a no cost emi will be available for you and there will be some scholarships also to support this particular vision and yeah there will be a limited seats so book yours before these are gone so how to enroll to this business analytics course from odin school so you will have the link in the description box or pinned in the comment section you just have to click on that link apply then you can take the step 2 that is talk to a counselor step 3 you can review if you are eligible for this course if yes and then you can get started and enroll for this particular course so what are you waiting for just click on the link which is available in the description box and pinned in the comment section and you can apply for this particular course so let's move ahead with our video then we have states okay so this is just just gives and information of states which we have then state wise results okay so in that particular state uh, who won in which constituency that particular fellow has won by what margin and who was the leading candidate and trailing candidate so leading candidate is nothing but who won that particular uh, you know in that particular constituency while trailing candidate we can consider that he was a runner up right so the second maximum votes uh, uh, he got in that particular constituency right so that's the meaning okay so the entire discussion on the data set we will see in the power bi dashboarding video but for this video we are just focused on building a data model so uh, i i i mean i will i will uh, you know request you to go through the data uh, you know on your own first okay so in this particular video i have just shown you very quick but i i, I will request you to go through the data uh, very quickly all right so in this what i will do we have taken a new power bi file and as i told you these are all csv files i will add the link in the description box from where you can download all these csv files and um, then we will import this csv file so for that what i will do i will go in home tab so in in get data here you have an option of get data and here you have different options from where you can import the data so we have a csv file so you can see text slash csv i will just use this particular connector and then i can locate the files which we are using so i will just select this first file and i will open it okay so based on that it will take some time and then it will give you us uh, the you know the sample data in front of us like this is the data uh, and it will ask us to see everything is correct or not okay and you just have to click on load so it will load the data and the same thing i will do for all the files so i will skip that particular part okay all right so i have imported the all csv files so i hope you have done the same so we will see the csv files if they are in correct format if the data is been populated or imported correctly so take a look on that first before doing for data modeling so i will go in table view so here you have an option where you can see all the data if it is correctly populated or not so first we will see constituency details and here you can see at the top all the data has been populated and the headers are also looking good and you can see the data is also correctly populated then i will go to constituency result here also you can see all the data has been correctly populated all right so party wise result also you can see header is there and all the data has been populated correctly similarly i will go to states and here okay so here you can see column 1 and column 2 and while the rows here you can see state id and state right so here we have some issues what what what's happened over here is power bi was unable to identify the headers of this particular table right so sometimes it happens so it is always recommended to check the quality of the data or if all the tables are correctly imported 
before you go for any data modeling okay so in this particular table we have to do some changes so for that i will just go uh, click on home tab and we will change this so this particular first row you can see it should be taken as a headers but right now headers are column one and column two we will change that so you just click here and go on transform data as soon as i click on transform data a new power query editor window will be open where we can do uh, you know uh, changes in this particular table so i will go in states table you can see here there are the list of tables i will go in states and here you can see the header right now are column one and column two so i have to change that so to do you can do it in a one single step here you can see there is an option in a home ribbon you can see there is an option called use first row as header so just click on that and then there are two options i will use the first one that use first row as headers that is this is the first row you can see this is the first row it will be used as a header so just click on that as soon as i do that you can see now first row is been used as header so we have corrected our data i will again go to transform tab uh, sorry home tab and here you have an option here called as at the left extreme close and apply so as soon as you hit close and apply so whatever changes you did in power query editor you can see those are reflected now in power bi so you can see state id and state all right so these were the changes we made now what we have to do we have to build our data model okay so now first thing before going to data model i want to show you this entity relationship diagram and uh, so this is for indirect general election result analysis so this entity relationship diagram you will say how i build this diagram and what happens in real time so in real time what happens 90 percent of time you will be provided with this entity relationship diagram so what does this implies that it it gives an information of how the table is connected to each other right so if there is a relational database like it is an oracle or we, we can say postgre database or ms sql or mysql servers right any database or any cloud servers if there are multiple tables stored in that each table have a relationship with another table and likewise only the data will be stored to make or to reduce the redundancy of the data so that is that is a different part that is nothing but normalization and denormalization we will see that in the next part of the video I, or i can say i will create a new video for that so this is the entity relationship diagram which we got from our client and we are going to make use of the same right so here you can see how the each table are connected to each other and you can see on what field they are connected so let for example constituency result is connected to constituency details based on what constituency id and i have highlighted with those colors right so this this is connected to party uh, table party wise results on party id so likewise we are going to make use of same so when i go over here now you have a third option called model view so when i click on model view so what happens is power bi automatically detect, detects the modeling for us or we can say a relationship for us and how does he detect uh, for us it is based on the common column names which are available in the in the tables if i show you the tables if i show you this particular table let's say constituency details and constituency results in this there is a field called constituency id and constituency id which is having a same name so based on these names only power bi will understand that yeah it is it should be connected on power constituency id itself and based on that only this has been connected so if i if i just take it in between over here and arrange it properly uh, i will just hide this and if i do it properly and if i arrange it properly you can see all the relationships are already formed okay and why it is formed because uh, based we have a common column field names in each table and based on that automatically relationship has been detected but in real time what happens is uh, you might have a different names for the different relationships or you might have to create a calculated field or you have to write a calculated field based on which you have to create a relationship so in that case you have to do manual uh, you know relationships so let's say i will delete this relationship i will right click and i will delete this i will delete this as well okay so let's say power bi was unable to identify now how will do how will you do the data modeling over here so as per this particular table a uh, ert diagram you know that these two tables are connected on constituency id so what you will do you have you will find a constituency id over here so i have this i will drag this and i will place on this constituency id over here so just do that and a new relationship window will be opened and the cardinality will be automatically detected that is one to many and the cross uh, direction it should be single okay it is always uh, recommended to keep it single 
uh, so that uh, the filtering will be done from uh, you know the um, i mean to one to many uh, tables right or one to many relationship tables so i'll just click on save and you can see you will see one to many relationship over here getting or not so what happens over here is what what does it mean that in this table for one single record here there might be multiple records right so for constituency id here it's a primary key but here you can say it the constituency id might have duplication values right so similarly in the state wise results here you can see it is connected on parliament constituency so what we will do we'll just take parliament constituency and we will drag it over here and it gives us a cardinality of one to one okay so always remember there might be a situation where a fact table can be connected to a dimension table with one to one relationship and where we call it as a slow changing dimension scd so you might have learned about that so i will not go in deep about that so i'll just click on save and here you can see it is connected to one to one and here this state results has been connected to states with one to many relationship right so likewise okay so the same erd diagram we have created over here right and the same model which we have built right now over here we will be using this model to build our power bi dashboard which will be coming in next week or uh, next month maybe because the design takes some time and calculations as well takes some time so this was a very quick video i know i have been you know in hurry in this video but if you want to see a complete data modeling concepts video i have added, i have created a one hour video on data modeling you can just go ahead and watch it i will add the link in the description box you can just go ahead and you can see all the things how actually the data modeling is done and then you will know uh, you know uh, i mean you will come to know that how actually the data modeling things works what is one to many what is single uh, filter direction here you can see it is a two filter because one to one relationship is there you can you know cross filter directions you can filter from this table to this table and this table to this table also because there is one to one relationship in between them so it depends on you and you can make it active you can make it inactive uh, you can make it here also or you can make it in dax calculations also when you are building the reports all right so i hope you have understood how we created this data model and i will see you in the next one guys bye bye